Hello and welcome to our channel. So we were iGEM from Zhongshan Medical University. My name is Melody and I'm your co-host today. My name is Yi Chen Li, aka Lucia, whatever you want to call me. <laughs> okay, so we mentioned that we were iGEM from Zhongshan Medical University in Taiwan. So iGEM stands for International Genetically Engineered Machine. Yes, so we were a club that is formed to participate the competition. We're just participating in this iGEM competition. <laughs> and this competition is basically focused on using biosynthesis ways to solve some problems, probably scientific problems. So far now, we have joined in the club for around six months. So Lucia, I was curious that what is your first impression about the club or iGEM? Um, well, I think my first impression about this contest is that it feels just like this big prestigious contest because just look at the host of this contest. It's Massachusetts Institute of Technology. It just mm. feels so wow. Yeah. <laughs> it feels like a really big contest. And also I feel like it's gonna be pretty cool because you get to do a lot of biosynthesis related experiments. And also like we will be uh, attending competition in Paris at the end of the year. So we will have opportunities to uh, exchange our ideas with people from different backgrounds or different countries. And that more than our horizon, I would say. Yeah, we really look forward to you know exchanging our ideas with other international students. So Melody, I'm thinking, in your opinion, what's the most difficult thing you've encountered during this process of preparing for this iGEM competition? Actually, we, we have uh, working hard on our project for so, so many months. And the first thing I would say is that brainstorming. Because our goal of this competition is to solve local problems using biosynthetic ways. But it's really hard to figure out the local problems that you are facing right now. Because I think we were not really cautious about our surroundings yeah. or looking for problems in our daily life. Yeah, it's just like, because like 80% of the time you're living and just live your life, just repeat and just eat, sleep, go to school, repeat. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so actually during the brainstorming time, we have part of putting many efforts in it. And every time when we figure out new solutions, we were thinking of, is this really a good topic for our competition? And that's something that I would say it's a little bit difficult because every time when you move on to a next step, you we will find out that your previous question won't won't be used. I would say. Yeah, and also sometimes there's the practicality thingy. Yeah, just sometimes your solution just uh, doesn't just, make sense. Yeah, yeah. And also the the second thing I would say is to find a lab. Some people might be wondering why finding a lab really hard. Uh, because in our school, Zhongshan Medical University, we had a really small campus and our school club team <laughs> doesn't have our own lab. So since this was a competition to be solved through biosynthetic ways and use experiment to prove th the result. So we have to do experiment to prove it. So that means that we need a lab. And we don't have a lab, so our next step is to find professors and sharing our topic and then discuss with them and whether to have a collaboration or ask them to teach us. So, so far now we have facing this problem and we have sending like more than 20 or 30 letters to the professors to ask for a lab. It seems to be ridiculous, but this is really happening to us. Yeah, we're trying just to find a lab. Yeah, so for me, this is some difficulties i faced so far. Well, actually, I think the most difficult thing we've encountered on our way is some financial problems. Well, first of all, we've actually been like in debt for like 3,000 US dollars at least just for this competition. Why is that, you might think? But, well, of course, it's because, first of all, this competition requires a lot of registration fees and also some of the jamboree fees team member fee, right? 
and also we need our accommodation fees and the ticket prices. So Most, that's a yeah. huge, large amount of money. Yes. And also, just as I mentioned, we don't have a lab, so that means that all the needs or the the cost of our laboratory experiment uh, equipment will be paid by ourselves, and that includes into our financial burden. It's just really such a big sum of money. I've like never, never know I can be in debt for this much money. I just can't believe we're in debt just because we're attending this competition. So since we have uh, such large amount of money to, to be paid, we actually had to apply for the scholarship. And that something happened is that the scholarship we were applying had made some pro problem during the process. So, which means that all the money from the registration fee and also the laboratory equipment fee and the, or also our accommodation and plane ticket. We fees. have to yeah. figure out our own solution by ourselves. So the time when we noticed that this happens, we were so stressful and we were quite panicked because this was quite a large amount of money for a college student. Yeah, we're just college students and it's not like we can just take out a like ten thousand dollar check from our pocket right here right now no <laughs> we're we're just we're just kids who actually just turned 18. Yeah, we, we were just kids that wanted to participate in a competition about bio, biosynthetic things, and which turned out to be that we have to figure out some financial issues. So at that moment, we were so stressful, and we were looking for uh, ways to make, make ends meet. Yeah, right? at that moment, what we did is that we would write a letter and talk to principals, professors, and teachers and ask for help that what are the opportunities or methods to deal with the financial burden. So looking back so far, I think we have learned a big lesson. Yeah, <laughs> we, we, of course. <laughs> we, we still haven't figured uh, finished our financial issues, but I think now we were in a good way. But after some months of seeking further help from others, we actually received some responses and I feel like we're going on the right track. Also, some of the teachers and professors from other schools actually wanted to ask us for a further co collaboration. It's quite a good big news for us and also an encouragement for our team that our efforts pay off and everything is going the right track. But even though we're still working on our financial problems, I think we're going the right way and we're heading toward to our goal in Paris. Yes. And I think that's enough sharing about our team, our story. Uh, in this channel, we will be sharing some interesting content. So stay tuned and see ya! See you.